Tonight for dinner, we're having spaghetti and meatballs, and I love this recipe. I will link it in the description box. It also ha comes with the recipe for the marinara sauce, and I love making the two of them together because these meatballs are so flavorful, and so you really need just a more simple, classic marinara sauce so that they're not competing with one another and uh, it's very simple to make. We make these about once a month. I, the whole family loves them, and it was great when my son was getting his teeth in because he could still chew these, and so if you have little ones, this might be a good idea for you too, and so let's get started. So for the meatballs, you're gonna need a pound of ground beef. I'm using 8515, and I wouldn't do any leaner than that, or you're gonna have some dry meatballs. We have We'll need uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and then a half a cup of grated Parmesan, three quarters cups of breadcrumbs, and then a half a cup of lukewarm water that you just slowly add in, and then an egg. My oven is preheating to 425 and I have lined a large baking sheet with parchment paper. And I'm gonna get this mixed up and rolled into balls and remember not to over mix or they will be tough. And then they bake around 15 to 20 minutes. While our meatballs are in the oven, we will make our marinara sauce and I have three tablespoons of olive oil heating up and I will put in about, it says two cloves of garlic. I did about three. We will get that um, garlic browning a tad in our oil. And then we will put in a pinch of the red pepper flakes and stir that up for a second. And then we'll put in a can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then in here we have a, it says a teaspoon of sugar. I just do a half a teaspoon and then a half a teaspoon of salt, and then one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna use tongs and put these into my marinara sauce and let them just sit in there on low for about 20 or 30 minutes. And before I stir these in, I was gonna mention that if you want, you could turn these halfway through when they're cooking in the oven, but I like the crust that it gets when you don't turn them. Now, is there just any better sight than that? A pot of fresh, meatballs in some homemade marinara. It's just one of my favorite things. Tonight's dinner is the one that I have been looking forward to all day long and I am so glad that it's finally dinner time. It is uh, one of my family's favorites. It, my mom made it when I was a kid and it was my favorite then and it's our favorite now. And it is a shell macaroni noodle casserole. It's kind of similar to like a lasagna, but easier and quicker to make. The ingredients in it are very kid friendly and budget friendly, so let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need a can of tomato paste, can of tomato sauce, a package of the shell pasta, sloppy joe mix and then you can either use cottage cheese or ricotta it's just kind of your preference I like cottage cheese because the texture in the casserole I just like that better but whichever you choose ground beef and it's just like a half a cup of cheddar cheese it just goes on top so it doesn't have to be exact 
I have my oven preheating to 350 and then my pasta. I'm just gonna cook until al dente because it will continue to cook in the oven. So we're gonna brown the ground beef and then we will add the, to, the tomato paste and the tomato sauce and a sloppy joe packet and one and a half cups of water. And then you just let that sauce simmer just a few minutes. I have just a two and a half quart uh, casserole dish. So you just do half of the macaroni noodles down and then half of the cottage cheese and then half of the meat sauce. And then you just do that all again and then you top it with cheese. just put it on a little baking dish because it's easier for me to pull it in and out of the oven and in case it spills but I've never had it bubble over and then we're just gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes uncovered Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to, please subscribe and I will see you all next time.